happened of the business meetings. And of course, this is a very, uh, very special business part, and that is uh, the results of the election. So uh, I would say that the election committee has worked and also we have had the scrutinies around this morning to look at the figures. And I think that many of you have voted almost all night. And uh, so what I will do now is to bring up on the screen the, uh, the results of the election. So when it comes to the presidency, we had two candidates, Andrew Deeks and Ponchai McCoy, and the figures are 66% for Andrew Deeks and 33% for Ponchai. And I would like to take the opportunity already now to uh, thank Ponchai for running as a candidate for the presidency. I think it is important that we see that there is an interest in running for the presidency of the organizations. I would also say that it's, it has been a pleasure and high work for this period with Porn Chai. And so a great thanks to you. And I would... Ponchai have also served as the vice president and done that very well together with me. So we have been in a lot of contacts. So, but I will call up uh, the new president later. So let's see what the new board uh, voting. And so uh, for the slate, we showed yesterday for the new administrative board for 2022 to 2026. There is 91% in favor to accept the slate and to modify the slate, 7% and to reject the slate outright, 1.4%. So the number of votes, I want to raise that, is a 71 out of 86 having the eligibility to vote. And uh, we just looked into the figures uh, from the uh, last general conference in, in Bangkok. And we had approximately the same number of votes that we had even more participants. So the percentage voting from this meeting is even higher. So I think this is a, a good outcome and we have a clear results. So I will, uh, Andrew Deeks, where order is set. So let's go through this. And uh, full board members from Africa and deputy board members. So could you raise? Uh, and the next will be the Americas, full board members. And for Asia and the Pacific, full board members. Uh, he should not be there because he cannot be a, a board member at the same time he's the president. So his, his name is now as the president for the IAU. So Europe. And finally, the organizations. And there are full board members and deputy board members. And I would like those who are here, who are now uh, being the new board, could you raise up and show yourselves for the audience?
So, and that will be a nice time for you in the next coming four years. So with those words, I would like to bring up the new president, the new elected president, Andrew. Thanks very much, Pam, and thanks colleagues for your vote of confidence in me. Uh, it's a great uh, privilege to take on this role. And as I said yesterday, particularly following the great job that Pam's done, uh, I'll be valuing uh, Pam's continued input uh, as a board member. So the, the past president does stay on the board, thankfully. So she'll be, uh, she'll be there to help me through. But I look forward to working with each and every one of you, each and every one of our members going forward. As I said yesterday, I think this is a very significant time for the IAU, an opportunity for us really to establish ourselves as the global voice of higher education. Uh, I'd like to thank Ponchai and congratulate him on, on the votes that he achieved and to thank him for his commitment to the IAU over these last basically decade. So well done, Ponchai. Congratulations also to all of the new board members and the continuing board members. I look forward to working closely with you over these coming four years. Thank you all very much. So there is one more thing which is very important for the organization and very important, not at least for me, and that is to thank the outgoing administrative board with whom I have worked for six years and who I have asked to be on the on board meetings very frequently, asking for support, looking at documents and so on. So I would like uh, to uh, the, the outgoing board members to come up on the stage. Even those remaining on the board, next board. And while you are arranging yourself in front of the camera, I will step out. I, I would like to, I would just like to say to the others that it has been a very lively board. And even at the last board meetings, there was a lot of discussions. And, but that's the way academia should be. We should have different views and we should put them to the table and come up with the good guidelines for the organization. So, as Secretary General of the International Association of Universities, I'm also very pleased to thank the outgoing board and to thank those from the current board who will remain and will continue to work also with me as Secretary General. I really need all the support I can get in the role that I fulfill. And I would like to thank them for a period that we have worked together more intensely than ever before. So a very big thank you. What we will now give with Pam is a special gift with um, actually um, a souvenir with all the signatures of all those who have sat on this board in order for you to keep that um, in mind for ever after. <laughs>
It will be difficult. It is very difficult for you to see from afar what we just gave the members of the board. But this is um, a token of appreciation in the form of also showing what the engagement was. So this is really um, all the signatures of all those who have sat on the board from 2016 to 2020. <laughs> and you will think, why do we not now thank Pam Fredman as outgoing president? But we will, and we will also have that opportunity in the closing of this conference, where we will have both the president-elect and the past, immediate past president, Pam, who uh, we're very pleased to have still with us also on the new board. But I will already say very officially that I loved to work with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. We have made a good couple and we have a different opinion sometimes, but we have always agreed at the final end. Good work. Yeah. So don't worry, we get back to that towards the end. But I know some of you will already leave. And I also would like to already say that those who have to leave at the end of this session uh, and those who already left, I hope everybody has a very safe flight home. For those who stay wonderful, because we have much more for you, we have a wonderful last plenary session. But before that, you may wish to actually meet with the outgoing board, and you may wish to meet with the current now elected new board. And um, it's a unique opportunity then to have uh, a nice cup of coffee to stand in the sun after the storm that we witnessed last night <laughs> and during the night. But uh, please enjoy talking to each other and then we will come back and resume for the last plenary session. Thank you very much. <laughs>